Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. Hear the train. <laughs> well, look at this. I have a garage to use during my uh, van build. How about that? Really good friends of mine. They're letting me uh, use their garage for a while during this build. So, and also, I cannot disclose a location. They don't want to have it on YouTube. But I can tell you this, I'm just north of Havasu. Lake Havasu. Which is maybe about 90 miles from Quartzsite. Okay, here we are. This is it. Here we go. 2020, the beast. <laughs> RV or TV ride. This thing is something else. I mean, right now I just got some junk in it temporarily. A couple of those, like the Jackery battery and that Blue Eddy one. It's the only way I can charge the batteries. These sprinters, they got a huge 220 amp alternator on them. They are a powerhouse. The diesel. These things are you know they're meant for commercial commercial use but you can see totally blank slate now the plan for with the van um, hmm. let me well here I'm gonna show you this first I'm gonna set this up we're gonna film it got my studio lights in Sorry, had to swing around there. Um, and I'm going to be filming this whole thing. I was able to pull out quite a few of my tools that I've been storing and hauling around forever. Have a chop saw, hole saws, drills, table saw, all my clamps. Actually, it's been a very long time since I've seen uh, a lot of this stuff. I've been hauling it around for that many years. Here's a bunch of the old solar from the van and the cargo trailer. Cargo trailer's going bye-bye, too. I'm not keeping it. Also, out of the cargo trailer, there's the power box. That'll be used. That's a 30-amp shore power box starting to get parts in this here is an actual window be a huge window cut into here I don't know if you if you guys have watched any of the sprinter builds then uh, you'll see a lot of them cut in windows that's the only window I'm going to cut in also, I have two fantastic fans, one here and one in the rear. So, and this window here will open. It's got a deal that opens on it. But that'll be the ventilation in here for now. This will have an air conditioner. It's the same one I used last year, the portable room air conditioner. I'm trying to utilize as much as I have now. Budget is extremely minimal for this build. Also, well, we'll get into the plan in a little bit, but uh, this build is going to go in stages. It's not all going to happen at once. So we'll we'll go over that in a minute. Anyway, uh, this will be the shop. I have access to it for a few weeks. I also need to make sure. The van can be driven every day. Whatever I do has to be finished up that day or the next day. Because this is my only wheels. I have no other wheels. I kept the motor home. I'm always going to live in the motor home. This van is for travel and work and this is my vehicle. But act for the actual living, I am not a full-time van dweller in any way. This is going to be a first class video production trailer slash camper meant to travel 
the United States. And one of the very first projects is going to be that hitch. Because right now, I sold the other van. I have no way to tow the UTV, Dusty Nugget. Thing. And this is going to be quite a little project. There's going to be a lot of videos done on this thing. So I hope you enjoy it. Also, remember I said uh, about the memberships. Membership uh, on YouTube. There's going to be a live stream pretty much... Every day I'm working on this continuous live stream going on the memberships. And uh, you'll be able to watch live a lot of this going on. So it's going to be interesting. Going to be a fun January and February. The actual build itself, I got to get the hitch on for now. A few of the incidentals, but I still got quite a bit of filming to do down in Quartzsite during the big shows so during the month of January it's going to go in small pieces by February 1st of February this thing's going to really get uh, gone through and put together and it's taken quite a while to get all the parts and pieces and laying it out and once again I'll go over more of that soon alrighty so what I'm going to do right now we're going to get the hitch on so I'll be back. This is a uh, hitch, bolt on hitch from uh, E Trailer. It's a draw tight, is the highest rated one they had. Just bolts right up in here. And look, this already has the wiring. So it already has a tow package. So. This guy right here will bolt right up in there. It comes with the hardware kit here too. Right here. All right, give me a sec and we'll get her going. Okay, pretty simple, eight bolts. Here's the destructions. Bolt from the inside out. That way the won't catch up with the spare tire there. Okay, I have a low. I've done hitches by myself before. And I'm gonna block this up. I'm gonna get some shims and block this up and uh, make it a little easier on my old body. Because it's impossible for me to lift this and hold it by myself. So let me get that set up. Okay, I gotta slide everything this way. Okay. Okay. I had to add a few more blocks. I'm hoping I can get the bolt in there without having to drop the spare tire. But this goes on the inside of that frame. So, well, let's see what I can get down here. Okay, plan B. <laughs> I'm just going to shove the bolt. The bolts have to come back through the other way, but I'm going to shove it, lift it up, shove it through just to hold it, get a couple other bolts started, and then I'll reverse that one. Let's see if that works.
Hey, hey, hey. Yay. Did it. <laughs> okay, like I said, I got to reverse that bolt, but let me get one on the other side to hold it. And then uh, we'll run them in right. Yay. <laughs> okay, we got one on each side, but it won't go anywhere. Okay, let me move these blocks, then we'll get some bolts in. There you go. By yourself, make sure you got blocks. Just be patient, go a little slow, and then run the, re the bolt reverse, one on each side to hold it. And then let's see if I can get the other uh, bolts in. Okay, hang on. Okay, made it. <laughs> All the bolts. Made us all bolt on. Get the shadow out of the way, there you go. So I'm going to get the other side done, get it tightened up with some ratchets. We should have a hitch. The only thing I'd say, be real careful. This wire here is really tight. I actually had to pop it loose from the frame right here. I don't know if you can see that right there. But uh, I'll put it back. But. Yeah, all in all, I really didn't want to get into dropping the spare if I didn't have to. But that that wire there is tight, and this goes up behind it. So just be careful. You know, if you're doing this, just be real careful. All right. Take your time. Block it up. Be safe. All right. Let me get the other uh, bolts finished on the other side. Okay, Oof. it's really not too bad. The worst part was getting it up in here. Yeah, it's all done. Not bad, I mean, I'm old by myself. Blocking it up does good, looks pretty straight. Everything's on. Really doesn't stick out too bad at all. I thought it might. If I would have thought of it before I started this, I would have got, there's a bracket. Must have to buy it separate. Right now temporary, I'll just zip tie that up. And at least I can go get the, my UTV haul it. But cool. All right, this is a 2019 Sprinter. Draw tight hitch, 6,000 pound rating. Got it off e-trailer. You know, they're okay, they're cheap. And I got free shipping. There was no drilling whatsoever, yay. So overall, this is probably the easiest hitch I've ever put on. I've installed maybe three or four of them through the years. But it's definitely the holes are there. Just slide the bolts. Just remember to flip that one bolt when you first put it up. Makes it a lot easier just to hang on both sides and then put the rest in. All right. Talk soon.